41st NIT Championship game. Don Crickey with Bucky Waters, Howard David as the Texas Longhorns. And there is the man who has put the game plan together that has worked so well, Abe Lemons. Blocked up by one of his big guys, Coach Lemons, with a team that came in 25-5. and five, Has opened up a 15-point halftime lead. And, Bucky, what can North Carolina State do to get back in this? Well, I think North Carolina State is going to stay with their pressure. They, they're going to have to change the way they're doing it. Obviously, the fronting man for man has burned them. Some kind of a zone trap, either pulling the man off the outlet man, the inbounds man, or just dropping one back. As I said earlier, I think they can live with some jump shots off transition, but they can't give layup. Pender started to come on late in the first half. He has 12. Warren, you see, with 10. Hawkeye Whitney usually gets more, has 6. Austin with 6. And for the Texas Longhorns, they've been led by their backcourt player, Krivax, who has 14, and by Baxter up front with 14. And John Moore, who had the ball so much in the first half, opens up the second half with it. Gets it down low to Branyan. If he wasn't fouled, nobody's ever been, but no whistle. Branyan, he's Abe Lemons, is up, jumping up and down. That's pretty and, close to a rain dance, Don. And Moore was the highest score in the first half with 15 for the Longhorns. And the ball comes back in to Texas. Ron Baxter will put it in play. Here it is. Home run ball over the head like Willie Mays. Tyrone Branyan, but Pinder, Kendall Tiny Pinder, puts a full whack on the ball. It looks like Norm Sloan is going to challenge him to keep making that pass. Tiny Pinder just drilled it. Well, from what we see, I guarantee you Texas will keep making it. <laughs> the long pass. Tiny Pinder coming from behind. Make sure there's no easy layup. Over and back. Krivax, we're told, has now officially totaled 17 points for the Texas Longhorns. So he is the top point producer with his back line mate Moore with 15. Texas in the lead, 54-39. We're early in the second half. With the ball, on the outside is Clyde the Glide Austin, who throws up somewhat of a hope. Doesn't get it to go, but Sudhop, the 7-foot, 2-inch center, is in the middle as we have a whistle. Sudhop gets the foul call against him. One of the amazing stats from the first half is that Texas is only shooting 50%. It just seemed like they were shooting 85 or 90. The key for them is only four turnovers, whereas North Carolina State had 13. Rebounds were basically even. Here's Krivax on the outside. Texas setting wide to either lane, side of the lane. Big, strong men. They'll pick off as the guards come by, and here's Krivax. Oh, he's some sweet shooter. They're coming so out smoking again. Absolutely. So now we have a 54-39 score on the board. I believe it's 56-39. They haven't changed yet. 18-50 left to play in the second half. As here is a tip away by Moore. Lead man is Krivax ahead of the pack, and he goes down, puts it up, despite the best efforts of Tony Warren to come from off the play. Again, State in attacking that defense. North Carolina State is getting down inside and leaving the top of the key exposed. And if you make a mistake, Texas takes it right to the basket. So Texas There's now has its biggest lead, a 19-point advantage. Texas 58, North Carolina State 39. We have a foul on the play. Ron Baxter getting set to bring the ball inbounds. Got no hand in the air as to who was pushing off. But Texas has the ball. And here comes Krivax as Austin tries to pressure him. The Texas Longhorns in this championship game lead 58 to 39. They were up at the half 54 to 39. A three-pronged attack for Texas at the half. Baxter with 14, Goodner with 17, and Krivax with 15. Krivax working off a pick set for him by Goodner. Can't get it to go inside. Outside to Branyan. Texas keeps five men in the game. Everybody handles the ball. And there is Ron Baxter, who just amazes you. It looks like he came in from the Nautilus machine or something. Listen to this for our first half. He's 6 for 10 from the floor, 2 for 2. Look at the arc on this shot, over the outstretched hand. He also had 8 rebounds and 5 assists. He's worth a full scholarship. Coming back down the floor the other way, Whitney got the bucket. Whitney got the bucket, so it's now 60-41, Texas over North Carolina State. Hawkeye Whitney with 8 points for the Wolf Pack. Branyan pulls up for a free shot, does not have enough on it. A fight for the ball, and the most remarkable, the most amazing, Ron Baxter from Dorsey High School in Los Angeles. The Texas sophomore has pumped in 18 points as Texas has blown open the game, leading by 21, 62 to 41. North Carolina State has their work cut out for them, obviously, and there's no thought of holding up by Texas. 
the tempo Look at is that still up. Pass. Moore leading Krivax. No bucket, but a foul on the play. Great hand coordination as Moore so dealt with it all. The second person foul, Kevin Pender, number 41, is in for state. Penetrating in deep, a little bit out of control. The penetration was out of control, and there's Texas taking it the other way in a hurry. Revax firing again. He's lucky he's playing in his own schoolyard. He's very relaxed in the garden. A lot of teams get tight in here coming in. Reject by Sudhop, but we have a foul call on the play. Second time around. He missed it the first time, but Sudhop came back and labeled some people. Very frustrated. North Carolina State's very frustrated right now. They just can't get the ball to go down, and every time they miss, Texas runs the ball down their throat. Amazing transition team. Abe Lemons, in all his years in coaching, has played in a lot of tournaments. He says, what you call yourself when you're the host, playing the host team in a tournament, the victim. And here is Goodner at the free throw line. We just had a second shot of Glenn Sudhop drilling that ball into the upper deck. Against Marquette in December, the toughest and biggest loss suffered by Texas. They lost at Marquette by nine, and only to South Carolina on the road by one, to Arkansas on the road by four, Baylor by two, Houston by two. Nobody's beaten them badly. As you mentioned, they have a victory over Arkansas to their credit this season. Here is Austin driving the lane. Let's see what the call is inside. It looks like it's going to be a foul call on Branyan, who is trying to draw position before they'll... Ball is put back into play. We're going to have a timeout. Texas 64, North Carolina State 41. From Madison Square Garden in New York City, this is the 1978 NIT Basketball Championship Finals. When we first came to timber country, they called us home light. But we came away the chainsaw king. And the quality that earned us that name is all right here in the home light XL. And you can buy the XL right now for only $84.95. That's a $15 savings. Or invest in one of seven other home lights and get a $15 woodcutter's kit free. Our name is home light, and we are the chainsaw king. What do you want for graduation? A car? Uh-huh. Uh, what I want is a really smart truck. You asked for it. A 78 Toyota SR5 long bed sport truck. It's smart any way you look at it. Out back, a bed as big as a stage. Seven long feet. Inside, a cab like a pad with wall-to-wall -wall room. And looks, Toyota's at the head of any class. If you can find a better built truck than Toyota, buy it. You asked for it. You got it, Toyota. To get 30 tons of logs off a mountain, you get to know a little about fear and a lot about ice and snow and rain and hairpin turns. And in the end, you get to know about Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. America's quality beer, Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Clyde Austin at the free throw line for North Carolina State, a team that you'll recall in 1974, won it all, the NCAA championship, led by the great David Thompson, their head coach Norm Sloan, now in his 12th year. He came to North Carolina State from the University of Florida in 1966. Long lead pass down court, and the only guy there to get the ball is the glider, Clyde Austin. <laughs> One of the few misfires on the bomb. There's no outlet man, no wide receiver. I was running a turn in. Here he is, Pinder, gunning it down low to Tony Warren, muscling his way inside. Warren does very nicely to get the ball up and down. Here's the lead pass. Goes to Moore, and there's a foul on the play. It was prior to the shot. The basket is negated. John Moore thought it was an intentional foul, which, of course, under NCAA rules, is two shots if it's called. And that's a good rule, but actually Clyde Austin lost his balance and really didn't try to cut him down. He just kind of moved into him. The this amazing is thing is that Texas is beating North Carolina State at their own game. That being the full 94 feet oh, in the transition the game. They don't look like they can do it, but believe it, they've done it two nights in a row, and I'm a believer. What you just saw was a uh, shot of the Toyota Coaches Award. We will be presented to the winning coach, and right now with Texas ahead by 19, it appears that Abe Lemons might be toting it home to Texas. John Moore. Takes his time, goes one-on-one -on -one against Tony Warren. Warren with a big height advantage. He's a 6'6". 
Moore is a 6-1, but he's so quick. Down low they go to Baxter. This is his game, but he can't get it off as he's hacked before he spins in for the shot. It is 64-45. Texas in the lead with 15-55 left to play in the 41st NIT championship game. Bucky? Gary Goodner is taking Glenn Sudhoff, the 7-2 center for North Carolina State, outside. A smart move by Abe Lemons. Glenn Sudhoff, like most 7-foot-2 guys, isn't very effective, far away from the basket. By pulling him out, they open it up, and they're sliding Ron Baxter inside, and when he gets the ball in close, he's devastating. Baxter, as you see, with... 18.8 on the average in this tournament. And Baxter, so far, has scored 19 in this game, so he's over his season average. He's not done yet with 15.45 to play. Baxter with the rebound, throws it out to John Moore, and Texas with that 20-point lead. It's been as many as 21. Alex to slow it down now, and I think that Texas is going to only run if there's a like a three-on-one overmatch. Or that elusive wide receiver loose again. And he's been eight times down court. I, I don't know. I believe they're <laughs> just going to turn him loose and let him go. I don't expect let him them play. to start think about tempo for a long, long time yet. Whitney starts in. Whitney can knock somebody down. 6'5", 225. He did knock down Tyrone Brannion, but it was not judiciously chosen, that move by Whitney. It's a foul on him as Brannion had position. North Carolina State has 15 minutes, 20 points with the capabilities of these two teams. It can change around. North Carolina State has got to take each possession very seriously. They can't come down and try to catch up and two or three times down the floor. They've got to score each time down the floor and tighten their defense. Hawkeye was out of control that time. Smart. Notice from Texas, no one up there trying to block a shot. They just slid over from the weak side, maintained good position, took the charge. And so it's a 65-45 game. Texas is in the lead. We have 15.09 to play. There are 16 fouls already accrued for North Carolina State here in the second half. Only one on the Texas team. So the bonus is going to be a big factor in Texas' favor very shortly. Driving to the basket is Gary Goodner, and he gets all of it. Goes right around Sudhop. With Texas spreading North Carolina State out, it's very difficult for Glenn Sudhop. That time he was driven around from 25 feet from the basket. I expect North Carolina State's going to have to go with some smaller people. They're being spread all over. It's no place for the big guy. There's no question they've got to get more speed, more agility in their offense and defense. And now as Prevax, who certainly has those qualities, goes to the basket. His shot is rejected, but there's a foul on the play. And Prevax goes to the free throw line. Hey, Blemons, pointing it out. Coming from the weak side, oh my, yeah, he got he got a bunch that time. State, again, very frustrated. The Wolfpack can't get anything going, but they're making sure that there are only three-point play opportunities. They are taking the layups away. So, Krivax with his next shot, if he hits it, will be the leading scorer in the NIT, Duren of Georgetown. Ended up with 88 points throughout play. Rutgers won the consolation game earlier this evening. Defeating Georgetown for third place. And now we have Texas in the lead 69 to 45 over North Carolina State. As Norm Sloan, the head coach of the Wolfpack, starts to send in new combinations. Art Jones is back in the game, as is Kenny Matthews. Donnie Perkins is back in with Craig Davis. And we have Craig Watts in at center. He's a seven-footer. In and out, rebound, taken down by Perkins, too much on the shot, and Brandon with good position takes the defensive board for Texas, and the Longhorns come up court again. In control. Texas totally in control right now. They were threatened only once after building up an 11-point lead early in the first half. North Carolina State came back to trail by five, but then Texas opened it up. At the half, they had the big 15-point advantage, and now it is up to 24 with 13.55 to play. Baxter puts it up, no basket. No basket, he traveled. Still a beautiful play. He did shuffle the feet. It was a good call. But ladies and gentlemen, it's another clinic. Don't be deceived by the fact that Texas is spreading out the offense. They're going to keep trying to score. Abe Lemon's teams have always put points on the board. Kenny Matthews coming in to fire it down for North Carolina State. That makes it 69-47 Texas. And North Carolina State goes into a semi-press. They tried an all-out press at the outset of the game. And if you were with us, you recall they were burned so badly with those full court length passes that resulted in easy layups for the Texas team. Now, with Texas in the lead, 69-47, more basketball action follows right after these messages from your local stations. When you're hungry for a burrito supreme, 
Really hungry for a taco You know what I mean Got a craving for a It's a read or two Wanna beat the dough starter Here's what you do You say hey, hey. What you say hey. We all go down in Taco Bell today Come and let me show you a house that's made for you A home with a lovely fireplace, a restful porch swing too A window to let the sun in, a place when the kids are grown Let Heaton take you to this place, let Heaton take you home Heaton Real Estate, marketing fine new homes and already established homes So when you're ready to buy your new home Let Heaton take you home Heaton Realtors, 12701 Research Boulevard there you have it. There are some horns and some Razorbacks. Southwest Conference coming up in basketball, having a big evening here tonight at Madison Square Garden with 13.35 left to play in this 41st NIT championship game. Gary Goodner goes to the free throw line for Texas, looking to annex the Longhorns lead to 23 or 4 if he can make the first and the other end. Nope. The bonus already in effect for Texas with a lot of time to go. Firing in desperation is Perkins from the corner. Donnie Perkins can't hit it for North Carolina State. And now Texas is going to kind of frustrate North Carolina State. It's like the mongoose and the cobra now. Just very patiently moving that ball, waiting for their opportunity. State has got to come and force the action. And that's very dangerous against a smart, very well-coached Texas team. And we have a foul call here going against Watts of North Carolina State for pushing off. So... Goodner is right back at the free throw line. Watts and Sudhop, the two big men for State, have just had a difficult time. The pace of this game, the transition, the fact that when Texas has the ball, they're spreading State all over the floor. It's been a long night for big guys. Here comes a little guy of the ball. Craig Davis moves it up quickly to Kenny Matthews. Davis looking for something to open up inside. Texas stays with that shifting zone, mostly a 2-3. They overplay the ball very nicely. It's tough to get it off to the weak side, away from the ball and get an open man. John Moore has too much on the pass, and he goes into row A. <laughs> Some arm. Baxter can throw it. <laughs> he, can, he can sing it the length of the floor with one quick flip. He looks like catcher the way he guns that ball down court. That outlet pass of his, he could throw it through a car wash and not get the ball wet. I mean, he could steam it. The big guy, Baxter. One of the reporters asked Dave Lemons after the semifinal win, is Baxter's playing overweight? And he said, hey, Baxter, you fat? Baxter just laughed. Here comes Crevax. Off to Tyrone Brennan. No go. And way up is Perkins. That's Skyer. A little bit of David Thompson. Yeah, he's got to he's go a long way. He jumps yeah. like David, but David was some kind of player. Still is. Yes, he is. 69 to 49, a 20 point lead for Texas with 12.07 left to go in this championship game of the NIT. John Moore is harassed and fouled by Craig Davis. Well, I, don't, I may be waving a flag uh, falsely, but 12 minutes and 20 points is still possible, but State has to get it together quick. The big rebound. Craig Davis trying to come in from behind. Actually, he was in a very precarious position because he really wasn't in a position to get back on defense to stop the break. So he gambled, reached in, and fouled. This North Carolina State team was picked to finish last in their league. They had 10 new players at the start of the year, and Norm Sloan has taken his team and driven them and pushed them to a third-place finish in the Atlantic Coast Conference, which, countering the Southwest Conference, they also have two teams in the playoffs. Duke is in the That's NCAA right. Final Four, right. and, of course, North Carolina State here. But Norm's done a great job. Both of these teams are going to be heard from in the future. North Carolina State all underclassmen, and now, except for Craig Davis, the man with the ball, their lone senior, he tries to get it inside to Watts and we're going to have a jump ball apparently that'll stop the clock with 11:50 left to play in the game and Texas holding to the big lead 71 to 49. Well look at that again. Little guy underneath wow tremendous contact no call and it's a loose ball. Craig Davis had his bell rung he was hurt at the end of the year a very courageous little guy dies for the loose balls has had some shoulder problems he's still not afraid to go down in there. Have a jump ball. 
Branyan is a uh, 6-7, and Davis is working with a little, about a foot less. Look out for the long one. Yeah, that's right. Right off the tip, it might go. Yeah. Yep. Davis won the tap. <laughs> You're going to tell me Craig Davis tipped it back, right? And he gets it down. Oh, Davis can cover some ground now. He skitters over that court like a water bug. But North Carolina State leads a, needs a whole lot at this point with 11 and a half minutes to go in this NIT championship game. Trailing Texas by 20, 71 to 51. Branyan can't get it to work. Tip try by Goodner's no good. And now North Carolina State starts to move. Lead pass to Kenny Matthews. And all of a sudden, the rope pack starts to look good. Showtime, Don. Greg Davis threw that ball behind his back 25 feet. Here we're going to get a chance to see it. Right behind John Moore, right on the money. He's up and in. State's moving. They got just a little momentum now. Texas obviously slowing it down a little bit when they got control. Greg Davis in there playing his heart out. He's a senior from Rockville, Maryland. But now Texas comes right back as Baxter hits for his 20th and 21st points. The little state rally really upset Texas, didn't it? Came right back down for another layup. And it's 73-53, Texas in the lead. And here comes the Longhorns. John Moore leads the way, a two-on-two break. Davis goes down, and the ball is dashed off to Tyrone Branion, who led his junior college team in Southern California to a JC championship before going to Texas. And now, with the score of 75-53, this is the 1978 NIT Basketball Championship Finals at Madison Square Garden. When an ordinary air filter gets really dirty, it can eat gas and kill your acceleration. Now this is the Fram Extra Life. It's got a special outer filter which helps keep the inner filter clean, which means that the Fram lasts 50% longer than our ordinary single filter. 50% longer. Why not change your old filter for a new Fram Extra Life? Doesn't cost any more, but it can save a lot later. Fram and Autolite are Bendix companies. This smelly onion and scope showed something new about fighting bad breath to these users of the leading antiseptic. Scope mouthwash in this dish, and I'm going to ask you each to smell this onion. It smells kind of mini. Your mouthwash with the other half of this onion, what's it smell like to you? A medicine they smell. Scope smells good. If it can make uh, onion smell this good, you imagine what it can do for your breath. Scope fights bad breath. Scope doesn't give medicine breath. This is Don Crickey with Bucky Waters and Howard David back at Madison Square Garden in New York and a big one coming up. Big one comes up on Sunday, Don and Bucky, the East-West Coaches All-Star Basketball Game at Keele Auditorium in St. Louis. Be sure and tune in on many of these Mizlu television network stations. Austin gets the ball over to Pinder who takes a look and now throws it back to Whitney. Austin goes down low and... Whitney, who hasn't been in there much in the second half, makes a nice turnaround shot for North Carolina State. And they trail again by 20. Texas 75, North Carolina State 55. And Texas hurries it down court, and they go to their quarterback, John Moore. State still pressing head up man for man. There has been no change all day. John Moore trying to go to the basket, can't get it to work. John Moore had the ball rejected, and Hawkeye Whitney picks it up. Gets it back out to Clyde Austin, the sophomore from Richmond, Virginia. He went to the same high school as Arthur Ashe and football linebacker Willie Lanier. Maggie Walker High in Richmond. Now it's 75-55 with 9.30 left to play in the game, and Texas still holding to the lead. They've had it throughout, never been behind. The call there was not goaltending. The call is a technical foul for slapping the backboard, causing it to vibrate. Here's the shot from the side. He really didn't touch the ball or interfere with it, but he's, he hit the board sufficiently hard to cause it to vibrate. It's a technical foul. Hank Nichols makes the call. Abe Lemons is not believing. 
Abe was here in New York and he said the most amazing thing was when he ordered breakfast the first day, he ordered two eggs, they were four ninety five. He said, asked the waiter if he couldn't go back and meet that chicken. He said he'd never heard of a chicken that could lay that valuable an egg. Said he went back there and the chicken was sitting on their little parasol, had a little bed for it, very he's, proud. He's out of sight. <laughs> he's been on the he's been on the other end of this. In nineteen sixty eight his team was losing by nineteen at half against Duke. He would not let them go downstairs. And in the NIT, in Madison Square Garden, That's he right. made his team stay up between the halves and scrimmage each other, skins and shirts. It didn't help. Duke beat them by 20. Clyde Austin knocks it down. And it is a 75-58 game, so North Carolina State comes back to within 17 points. Long lead pass to Tyrone Branyan, but... North Carolina State gets two men back. <laughs> Cut it off. It's like Granyan's tired of laying it up. Actually, the big guy, uh, Watts, got back very well that time, forcing the high trajectory. <laughs> North Carolina State, of course, has turned out some great NBA players. It is 77-58. Texas in the lead, 8.47 to play in the game. Last year, the Atlantic Coast Conference scoring leader, Kenny Carr, was North Carolina State. Now at the Los Angeles Lakers, David Thompson, the great Denver Nugget. And now it's 12 points up for Whitney. Looking at the other point totals, Tinder has 13 for the Wolf Pack. Austin has 10. Warren has 12. Back the other way and a travel. The, the truck and trailer got, a, got loose coming down the middle. Ron Baxter got away with it a little bit. Going too fast. And I really think he, he walked because he was trying to wedge in there and try to beg for that three-point play. Notice how he protects the ball extremely well. He did everything right except he shuffled the feet a little bit. And he comes right back, Baxter does, and rejects the ball underneath. That ball does draw a crowd down underneath. 8-16 to play in the game. Texas 77, North Carolina State 60. At the half, Texas had a 15-point lead, 54-39. to So we're going to jump it up. Kendall Pinder will jump against Gary Goodner, two of the biggest people on the court. North Carolina State in white. Victimized by the full court pass of Texas in the first half that resulted in five breakaway baskets. They've subsequently been able to shut down that long pass for the most part here in the second half. But the damage was done early and North Carolina State so far has not been able to come back. There is a big follow-up play. We'll have to see if they credit with that. They give that to Pinder. Or to Whitney, who now has 14. Whitner and Pidney both way up there. And it is Whitney who is credited with his 13th and 14th points. Here's another foul. Bucky. North Carolina State can score points in a hurry. Not as quickly as we've seen Texas the last two nights, but they can score. And with eight minutes and a 15-point spread, which could go to more right now with, with more at the line, State still has a chance, but they've got to take more advantage of every offensive opportunity. Tony Warren with his fourth personal foul and Moore at the free throw line getting his 18th and looking for his 19th point of the game. And Texas annexes its lead now. It is 79 to 62 with 7.55 left to play in the game. Championship game of the 41st NIT. Zero. Kendall Pinner gets it down. Nicely done. The 6'8 front man from Miami. There is a long lead pass down court to Tyrone Brennan, and we have a reject by Art Jones, a clean reject. Great hustle by Art Jones, but again, a good pass. Right on the money. Goodner nails his man. Only great hustle by Jones coming from the back. But still, State is unable to force the turnover, unable to force Texas into mistakes. They're still dictating. Baxter will put it in play with Texas in the lead now by 15. Their lead was 24 at one point in the second half. Texas lead cut to 79 to 64. 15 point advantage at the moment. Seven and a half to go. Baxter, so very elusive at the offensive end, darting in and out despite his great size. And he now has 23 points. Extremely quick. Whitney fires up and hits for the Wolf Pack. So Hawkeye Whitney does his job. He has 16. He started to come on. Had six in the first half. And it's 81 to 66, Texas. We're winding down to seven minutes left to play. Texas with a control game now. Taking their time, and they are working the clock at this point. 
Number 11, Jim Crevax, is a true shooting guard. <laughs> but he can handle and he can give it up, as oh, he yeah. just demonstrated. Probably handles more than any other high-scoring guard I've seen in a long time. So, we'll pause briefly for these messages from your local station. A beautiful home is only beautiful with wall and floor furnishings from Accent Flooring. In carpeting, Accent Flooring has every color, design, and length at competitive prices. For kitchens or bathrooms, Accent Flooring has vinyl or tile to brighten up a room or tone it down. For your walls at home or the office, Accent Flooring has infinite possibilities with an interior decorator to guide you. Accent your home. Consult the decorating experts at Accent Flooring. For a limited time only, courtesy Dodge is discounting America's number one selling van, Dodge Vans. Drastic reductions that will make this number one seller a number one buy. Discounts up to $2,500 on selected vans and other tremendous discounts on their entire inventory of new vans. The largest inventory in Central Texas. Over 150 vans to choose from, including the Santana, Tradesman, Sportsman, and even a selection of custom vans, or courtesy Dodge will have one customized for you. No dealers, please, because this sale won't last long. At these discounts, the vans won't last long. Courtesy Dodge, 7309 North Interregional. Superior execution of the give and go. Jim Crevax to John Moore underneath. Tony Warren, who was beaten, had to reach in from the back and foul. It was his fifth. Crevax from Southport High School outside Indianapolis was the most valuable player in the Derby Classic for high school players in Louisville after his senior year. As you mentioned, he went to Auburn at the outset and transferred to Texas. And here is John Moore at the free throw line from Altoona, Pennsylvania, 6'1 junior. He is the one of the third leading scorer in Texas history now. And now as we come down to the other end, we have a pushing foul underneath. Kenny Matthews and Tyrone Branion were pushing off. Let's see what they have. Branion gets the call against him, and so North Carolina State will inbound the ball. They do to the open side to Art Jones. Not quite enough there, but Whitney not only taps it in, he slams it in. I think the officials missed that one. The ball yeah. was still on the cylinder. Not only did they touch the ball on the cylinder, they even hung on the rim a little bit. It makes it 84-68 Texas with a 16-point advantage. 6.25 to play. Texas very patient. Still spreading out. No hurry. But they're always looking as they bring the North Carolina State defense out to go back door to go down low. And that underneath opens up. There's Tyrone Brannion. He's darting back and forth across the baseline. State has left their seven-footers now and has gone to a smaller, quicker team. There you go. Here comes Mr. Baxter. And the rebound to Whitney. Kicks it out quickly to Austin. Who takes it down court and feeds off in the corner to Kenny Matthews. In the middle, John Moore of Texas intercepts the ball, and the Longhorns come back the other way. Down to Crevex. So sweet. That's the kind of shot you're looking to take with an 18-point lead and five and a half minutes ago, most coaches would have died of a heart attack, and Abe Lemons was up cheering. Like a nine iron. It takes a while to come down from Crevex. He has 25 points, and Texas is in the lead, 86 to 68. Sophomore. Clyde Austin will inbound the ball now for the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Gets it to Matthews. North Carolina State very much in need of quick shooting and accurate shooting now as time is becoming a factor and working against them. There's one. to make it 86-70, Texas. Go on the play by Kinder or by Austin gives him 12. Tyrone Brannion takes a shot and he gets the roll. So Texas come right back and get it. Tyrone Brannion has now scored 12 points for the Longhorns. Some touch. He went 12 for 16 in the semifinals too. They all shoot the ball well. And they're a very unselfish team. Game starting to open up now. We're having a shootout. And here's that long one to John Moore. He's got Matthews between himself and the basket. Feeds to Krivax. Right on time. All night long. So it is now an 18-point advantage for Texas, 90 to 72, as we're down to 4:35 left to play in the game. Back the other way, Clyde Austin and that gets the roll for the Wolfpack to make it 90-74, Texas. Prevax all the way. He is so tough. Prevax with 27, 29 now for Prevax. North Carolina State wants a timeout. 92-74, Texas, from Madison Square Garden, New York City. 
This is the NIT Championship Final. We're the Van Arsdale, Tom and Dick. We're identical twins, and we drink identical beers. Light beer from Miller. We love it. The best thing about light beer is it's less filling. Great taste. Less filling. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer. Great taste, Tom. Less filling. And I'm not Tom. You are. Oh, I'm dead. You think you oh, are. You but you never were. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. You know, I really believe our new Toyota Celicas deserve to be the import car of the year. I couldn't agree more. You asked for it. Motor Trend Magazine's import car of the year for 78, the new Toyota Celicas. Celica won against some of the world's best. Because of its styling, quality, comfort, acceleration, braking, handling, fuel economy, and ride. Congratulations, Toyota. You asked for it. You got it, Toyota. Jim Krivax on the breakaway, and the guy that's trying to catch him is Clyde Austin, who's a burner himself. Krivax is not just a jump shooter. He has shown us everything a basketball player can do. An impressive performance. He is a player, Jim Krivax. The first game score for third place, Rutgers 85, Georgetown 72, if you join us late. Here is Craig Davis, who sparked North Carolina State earlier, making it 92-76, Texas, with 4.05 to play in the game. North Carolina State. With time working against him now, pressures the ball, but John Moore very deftly brings it down the court between the legs, behind the back. And we're getting Moore now for pushing off as the game starts to get a little bit rough. An offensive foul signaled against John Moore. In the stall pattern, Texas is using. They're trying to screen down on the weak side, and that time uh, Hank Nichols uh, called an illegal screen. It was a good call. You're talking about Abe Lemons losing big when it happened to him in the past. Said he's got speeches for being 20 points down, speeches for 10, but once he was down by 33 and doesn't have a speech bag, just left the locker room. And now, North Carolina State with Perkins hitting for his fourth point, makes it 92-78. 14 point advantage, North Carolina State slowly inching back. They've been down by as many as 24 in the second half. They've got to move awfully quick, Don. They've got to take some chances and they've got to do some fouling. And that's going to be tough because Texas is one of the top 10 free throw shooting teams in the country. As Krivax drives, Craig Davis grabbed him, and they ruled it. Davis got him on the arm. Krivax pressure, taking the ball in on the little guy. Craig Davis reaches in, tries to steal it. Foul is called. Good call. Usually, if you're going to reach in, it's better to reach from down up. As soon as you come in over the top, the officials almost automatically blow that whistle. Krivax has 30 as he closes in on 100 points for this 1978 NIT. 31 for Jim Krivax of Texas, and the Longhorns have a 94 to 78 lead, and we have 3.15 left to play. Davis fires and knocks it down for the Wolfpack. Davis has now scored eight points for North Carolina State. Krivax ahead of the pack. Davis, despite his best efforts, cannot catch up, and Jim Krivax takes it a distance. North Carolina State persists in playing them head to head, and Texas persists in carving them with a <laughs> deep pass down the floor. They've got to put somebody back to stop the layup, force some jump shooting. Kendall Pinder working hard down at the other end for North Carolina State. 19 points, a lead pass goes to Tyrone Branion. Coming up is Krivak, speeds to Branion. And Texas has put on a demonstration of team basketball that has been absolutely magnificent. Incredible. That's why they're a good basketball team. Sure, Krivax is having a great night, might even be going for a record, but he gave it back to his teammate. Touch a class. 98 to 82 is the score. Texas with 2.29 left to play. We have a foul call that's going to bring the ball down to the other end of the floor. The foul call is against Watts, his third. Watts of Texas gets his third personal foul. Or Watts is going to be against Branion going to the free throw line. So Watts of North Carolina State. Greg Watts. Here is Pinder getting the ball out quickly now. And coming up court with the ball is Clyde Austin. Looking to lose his man with the dribble. Feeds it off nicely. Watts cannot control. And it comes back inbounds to the Wolfpack. Well, the pack, you have to give him credit. The Wolfpack is still trying, still pushing the ball up the floor in the face of another flawless performance. You look at Texas 
in the semifinals and the finals in the NIT, and you have to say, who beat these guys? Well, Southern Cal did it in the opening game by one, Marquette by nine at Marquette, Arkansas by four, Baylor by two, Houston by two in the tournament to get into the NCAA. They are for real, and they are so young. Only one senior started this game, that being Goodner the boy from Denton, Texas. So both of these teams are going to be heard from. And the experience here, even for North Carolina State, if they can't pull this game out with their young squad, will pay dividends in the future. Hinder with the shot now has 21 points for North Carolina State. And it is an 98-86 game, and here's another bucket up quickly. Very well done, uh, Whitney, to make it 98-86. So all of a sudden, with 2.02 left to go, North Carolina State rallies back to within 12 from Madison Square Garden in New York City. This is the 1978 NIT Basketball Championship Finals. No one leaves this locker room till I find out who's been using my safeguard. Bob, your deodorant soap hasn't even been opened. Oh, what are you going to do, sue me? I want all that safeguard protection. Damn. Man, I'm a sucker for lather, and safeguards deodorant lather is different. For lather and protection, people love Safeguard so much, it's always the smallest soap in the house. Larry, since we all love lather and protection, next week, bring a bigger bar of Safeguard. 90. There is Norm Sloan. His team was down by 24 in the second half of this NIT championship game. They have rallied back to within 12 with the Texas Longhorns in the lead, 98 to 86, but time is so much a factor now with just 2.02 left to play. While we have a moment, we'd like to credit some people who've done a great job with this NIT, a tournament that was really threatened a few years ago. People like Pete Carlissimo, the president of the National Invitation Tournament Committee, Ken Norton, Dan Quilty, Larry Gerashati, John Kaiser, and Scotty Whitelaw. The NIT having its most successful run at regional sites and then into Madison Square Garden for the semifinals and tonight's final game. John Moore going down low against Kenny Matthews and they kick the ball back out as Texas opens it up now. They want to run that clock down with North Carolina State starting them out of threat but time working against them. There are plenty of teams to choose from for the National Invitation Tournament. There were 54 Division I teams in the NCAA that won 20 games or more. Only 36 of those got in the NCAA or the NIT. 18 teams that won 20 games didn't go to a tournament. So the quality and the balance of basketball is super. And another layup. Baxter breaks it. Baxter gets ahead of the field on an overmatch as the Carolina State defense had to come out, slams it down, and is fouled on the play. Smart. Baxter rolling down, seeing nothing but blue paint goes up for the stuff. It's amazing he gets it up and down the way he does. I'd like to also thank our very fine producer, director, Bill Schwing, for his good work. And our statistician, Saul Widener. We have 121 left to play. It is Texas 101, North Carolina State 86. Texas goes back, sets up in that zone. They like that zone. Well, it's... They? Yeah, they do a lot of cute things off of it. They force you to stand around. They force you to shoot from the outside. Their opponents have only shot 43% against them all year from the floor. There has to be a reason for that. On top of that, because they have so much confidence in that back line, they make so many steals, and they have the good quick hands to do it. Whitney, with that last field goal, now has 20 points, and Abe Lemon brings his Longhorn frontliners off the floor, including Krivax, who has scored... A total of 33 points in this game. Abe Lemons en route to an NIT championship. And a very big night for Texas basketball. His assistant coach, Barry Dowd, also over there with him. Don uh, Krivax has got 99 points for the tournament, which is far below the record for a four-game venture. Bobby Lloyd, 1967 for Rutgers, scored 129 points in four games. The Krivax has had a big night, but still has a way to go for the all-time record. That one looks like it'll stand a while. Lloyd, that's... Well, here are some most valuable players being selected. We have co-MVPs, as you'll be seeing shortly, and very understandably, they come from Texas, and they are Ron Baxter and Jim Krivak sharing the MVP honor. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to choose between them. Both outstanding performances. They complement each other so well, but then this whole Texas team does. They are very, very unselfish plus being talented, well coached. Montgomery is now in the game for North Carolina State as Texas goes to its backup troops. 
Clyde Austin firing it down. In the game for Texas now we have John Carsey in. Also in the game is Phil Stroud. Coming in is Mike Murphy. It is 101 to 90 with 40 seconds to play. Texas is in the lead. Abe Lemon's still not relaxed. He's up cheering, directing traffic. Mike Murphy comes in the game for the Longhorns. They have the luxury now of going to the bench. Also in the game for Texas is Tom Nichols and Ovi Dotson. Go to the bench in a championship game. It's a pretty nice feeling as Texas with a brilliant team game leads 101 to 90 as we wind down the 1978 NIT championship game. Last year in the final game, it was St. Bonaventure beating Houston, you'll recall. The last time we had a 100-point game was a long time ago. That was in Maryland, beat Niagara 169 in 1972. 13 seconds to play. <laughs> 101 to 90 is the score, and there is Abe Lemons. He's got something to be real proud of now as Clyde Austin goes to the free throw line. The pack is still hustling, still fighting. They're just in enough time. They had a clinic put on them tonight, but they were beaten by a fine basketball team. Hawkeye Whitney still working hard despite the fact they cannot come back now. One second left to go, and there is the horn. And the final score is in. That's the end of the 1978 NIT Basketball Champions with the final score. Texas 101, North Carolina State 93. We'll be back at Madison Square Garden in a moment. Pete, how do you spell relief? When I get acid indigestion, I spell relief R-O-L-A. Oh, I have gas. I spelled the same for gas. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaid spells relief. In this test with Rolaid's active ingredient, laboratory acid changes color to prove Rolaid's consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Now, how do you spell relief? R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Yes. For acid indigestion and gas, Rolaid spells relief. You know, we sure could use a real smart car. Yeah, a good looker that's a dependable worker. You asked for it. The 78 Toyota Corolla SR5 Liftback. A smart combination of sensational styling and practical engineering that won't wipe out your nest egg. Toyota Corolla, a smart way to build a car. If you can find a better built small car than Toyota, buy it. Buy smart, I always say. You asked for it, you got it, Toyota. All right, final score, 101-93. The Longhorns of Texas defeat North Carolina State. It's only the second time. Last time was 72 when a team scored 100 points in the final for the victory. And only the second time in the history of the tournament that they have been co-MVP winners. Baxter and Krivax of Texas. Jim Krivax, congratulations, super tournament. Thank you, thank you. We play well as a team. We moved the ball well and, and it did it all for us tonight. Ron Baxter, muscled your way inside. They say you're 205. I think it's probably maybe two and a quarter, eh? Yeah, that's about what it is. You know, it's preseason. I picked this up all during the season. But I feel good. You know, we played, beat a hell of a team in North Carolina State. They're one of the best. You know, we played all year, and we just rose to the occasion. I think you should give them a lot of credit also. And I say hello to my cousin Mike in San Francisco. I talked I talk to him this morning. Ron, I think maybe we can start saying that Texas is now a football and basketball power. Oh, uh, yeah. We've been trying to prove the whole year. Same thing with the whole conference of Arkansas and ourselves in Houston. I think we finally proved something now. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Okay, Ted Graham from uh, Fram Automotive Division. You must be a very uh, uh, interested spectator here in the middle of this crowd. Our co-winners, Ron Baxter, Jim Krivax for the Fram Award. And let's just get this up so we can get plain sight of the award. I know that Fran is very happy to make this presentation. We're delighted again to have you with us. Absolutely. And if these fellas think they'd like to sell spark plugs and oil fellas, we'd like to have them come and see us when they're through school. Well, that's the story so far as the presentations are concerned. Let's go back to Don Cricky and Bucky Waters for a final recap. All right, thank you, Howard. The final number is in, and Texas with the big first half lead, the brilliant team play, a 101 to 93 victor over North Carolina State. Carolina State didn't quit. They fought back, but time ran out. And Texas is a very deserving champion, Bucky. State came in playing their best, and that's press and run. 
And the thing about it, uh, that you just have to give Texas a tremendous amount of credit. I've seen them pressed two nights in a row by two good basketball teams. They never lost their poise, and they just got layup after layup. That's coaching, and that's discipline. Now for Bucky Waters and Howard David, this is Don Crickey. Good night from Madison Square Garden in New York, Texas, the victor. You have just seen the championship game of the 41st National